Good evening all. I am excited to be here this evening to welcome our team back and they did very well, excellent and well done officially. So I hope everybody could give them a round of applause. Yeah, yeah. It's always that exciting being here, acknowledging when, you know, our young males are doing well. So often we get other press, but when they're doing well, I think it's important to acknowledge that. And I think every single one of us here tonight are very happy and proud of them. So excellent and well done. Good night. My name's Jatino Richardson Martin. Okay, we, um, you guys, Van Curacao, coach, the coaches gave us an um, accomplishment. We guys, we guys went out there with a, a girl, said to, um, Transfer to the next, go to the next run. You guys done it. I'm very happy. What was, the team, what was the team spirit like going into the competition? Uh, we was very excited, very, very ready to go. We was just waiting for the coach to put out the the team list, and we was just waiting to go. After the first game, what goes through you guys' mind? Like you can, you can achieve the goal that's put in front of you. Uh, yeah, we got three points, but um. You know, coach, the coaching staff, and everybody else kept on top of us to put that game behind us and continue on the run. You make it through to the semifinals, um, and, and at that time you've already accomplished what you went there to accomplish. Finishing third, was that something that you guys are really pleased with? Uh, when we went into the semifinals, we wanted to do more than finish that. We wanted to win the whole tournament. Unlucky that we didn't. We faced Haiti in the semifinals and lost. After that, we knew that we had to play for the third place spot, and we wanted to come back home with the third place medal around our neck. Amen. Yeah. Tom, as the, as, the coach of the, as the coach of this team, it's, it's kind of difficult because some players are, are not on island. So how do you get these guys here motivated to, to stay as one unit when they do get together? Um, yeah, first and foremost, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone that traveled to the BFA for all the hard work that went on behind the scenes. Um, but it's, I think we built up a relationship with the players in the summer before we went to Haiti. And um, as we know, a few of the players that went to Haiti weren't able to, to come, but the players that they had stepped in, uh, had been training with us in the summer, and they stepped up to the plate uh, when when was called upon. You know, players could, weren't available due to school commitments, and uh, we have to accept that. But it just shows you that we have a good pool of players to pick from. Now, for some, this is a short turnaround for the next round. How do you prepare in such a short space of time with so many guys um, abroad, so many guys here? Yeah, I th but I think every country has that problem. Um, so we're looking to have something over the Christmas break, uh, and we're hoping we could have something else before traveling to Costa Rica. You know, that's our plans. And, um, you know, everybody that went on the trip, they got to dig in if they want to stay on the next trip. That's just the way football is. And, um, you know, uh, technical director Maurice Lowe, we're, we're going to sit down. We obviously um, look at what we can do better. And I think it's a lot more to come from, from the under 20s. You know, we know we're going to be going to a, a different level of play. Uh, we looked at the past records of Haiti, who, who won our tournament this time. And, you know, they finished bottom of the group when they, when they went to the finals of this tournament the last time. So we know what we're going to be up against and uh, we're going to have to work hard to, to, to improve as a unit. So that's what we have to look at, uh, the steps that we're making. When we have our meetings with uh, the coaches twice a month and that's what we talk about, staying in competitions and that's what we managed to do this time. So, you know, this goes out for everyone that's uh, been involved in Bermuda football over the last 10, 12 years. It's a long journey. Things don't happen overnight. And, um, you know, it's still a long way to go. So we have to uh, enjoy while we do good, but 
keep move, trying to move on. That's that's the main thing, right there. That we have to keep trying to improve. Good eye open experience for your team. They learn they learn some important lessons. Yes, I would say so. You know, we played what five games in two weeks, and it's very demanding. And you know, uh, we had 17 players to pick from. Uh, the maximum we could take was 20, so it was very demanding on all the players that were there. You know, the rest, and I must say, all the players were well behaved on the tour. Um, that's credit to their families and, and everyone that's involved in them. We, we didn't have no problems with them whatsoever, so very happy about that. And we, we see a trend that's happening. This is not the first tour that we've been in, even at the senior level. You know, from guys going away to school and being at professional clubs, they just automatically know how to act, you know, because they, they see that it's, it's business time. So hats off to, to everyone in that department. One question for you, Mr. Yes, sir. Um, for you as the as the head honcho of the Bermuda Football Association, um, this year ends with the success of the under twenty, but overall the program has seen um, at the youth level a lot of success this year. What do you attribute that to and how could we sustain it throughout the years to come? Sure. Um to be honest, it's, it's uh, as, as Kyle said, it, it's been a long time coming. I've um, been part of a, a strategic plan um, for us to one advance out of the first round, and now we're moving into the next strategic plan, which talks about us um, advancing into final stages. Um, I, would have, I would have never dreamt that it would have happened so soon, um, but ecstatic, you know, very ecstatic. Um, really, it's, it's down to um, Maurice and his team to now talk to us about how do we continue this, this process. Um, we have protocols in place, um, but we, we need to try and prepare better. You heard Kyle talk about what can we do um, to get this team prepared for the next step. And those are some of the things that we need to discuss. And I think um, over the next, next few years, we'll get that down, and you'll see more teams advancing into the final stages of competition. Congratulations. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.